Hey guys, um, I am going to do another video for you. It's been a little bit. So, um, I'm recording this on Tuesday, April 26th. I'm not posting it though until next week when the new products launch. So, if I say something that doesn't make sense, more so than normal, it's because I'm, I'm living in the past. So, here we go. I ordered a bunch of stuff for the vendor event I'm doing. We're going to be back in Rexton on Saturday, May 14th from 9 a.m. till 1. And then I'm going to be at the Riverview Lions Hall on Coverdale Road the following, I believe it's the following Saturday, um, from 9 a.m. till 3 or 4. I will... Uh, Confirm. It's on my calendar. That's what really matters. And I have the new summer products in here. Uh, I can't show you yet. Um, it's killing me a little bit inside. But you'll see. You won't know the difference. I know the difference because I have it. You'll only see the video when you see the video. So I went out to get my scissors. To open my box and of course I forgot them because that's the mom brain it never comes back I don't even have oh there we go I have my Dalmarama scissors <laughs> not exactly a pair of shears okay build our way up start big go small start small go big Three different sizes. I met the Fed. I saw the FedEx truck pull up today, and I ran out to meet him. I did have a little chat with him last time he was here, and uh, I said, "Front door, doorbell." He's like, "Okay, front door, doorbell." Apparently, some people don't like their doorbell being rung, which makes sense. Some people work nights. Uh, baby sleeping. Um, news flash to anybody who's pregnant: the baby can hear it in the womb. So they're going to hear it when they come up. So taking the phone off the hook so you don't wake the baby. Um, don't ring the doorbell so you don't wake the baby. Listen, if they slept through it before, they're going to sleep through it now. Just an FYI. Okay. <clears throat> so what do we have? For some reason the dog doesn't like it when I do that. All right, I like it when they put a box in a box. Anyway, okay. The gift that keeps on giving. I have no idea. I made two separate orders. Uh, again, a bunch of it's for me. A bunch of it's for the market. A bunch of it is new stuff that I am going to have on hand at the market now. As far as the new stuff goes, I can only get one of each. Um, I do have some stuff here, though, from last summer. So I will have a few things with me at the vendor event next month, both of them, Rexton and Riverview. And if you want anything, again, I'll be taking orders. Um, this time, I will be requiring payment when I take the order. So, um, in which case I could take a credit card or, uh, yeah, not debit. So I could take a credit card or you can e-transfer me, but I'll be requiring payment at the time I take the order. This last time I just wrote everything down and ordered everything. Now I have to hope everybody comes back to get what they wanted. All right. So returning this summer is the West Coast Burger Seasoning. I have had that. You mix it, you can, you don't have to there's no rules but this is uh, you mix it with um, mashed potato and sockeye, well, sockeye salmon or any salmon trout uh, what is it, tuna I guess you could make anything it's basically a fish burger and it is really good being that my heart still is in BC the rest of my body and is here <laughs> in New Brunswick, but everything else is still in BC. I do use, of course, the uh, Wild Pacific Sockeye Salmon for anything I can. And yes, 
I pay for it. <laughs> they don't give it away. Uh, burger seasoning is coming back, of course. I think it would be suicide if they didn't. <laughs> uh, big burger sauce, of course, is coming back. Some people, somebody did ask me at the uh, Riverview event. Um, I had one, I did not have the other, so now I have both. So hopefully they'll return. And I have what she's looking for. And Tuscan chicken burger. I used this the other night with ground chicken. And uh, Joe messaged me. He's like, burgers are great. Is there any doubt? It's always great. All right. I've only, in over 10 years of uh, using it this year, only once have I had something that I didn't care for. And I'm not going to say what it is. <laughs> If you want to know, PM me, and I'll let you know. But uh, one thing in 10 years is pretty good. Bubble wrap. Again. Oh, box inside of a box. But this box had a box. And this. This is a maze balls. Look, check this out. I can't wait to use these. <clears throat> when we barbecue, we I haven't made a pizza yet on the barbecue, but I'd like to. I've heard a lot about it. But we barbecue like bell peppers and hot dogs, hamburgers, fish, um, asparagus, mushrooms. And of course we toast the buns of whatever meat we make, steaks. Um, but I also like to make kebabs. And these are the brand spanking new Epicure kebabs. Um, labeled Epicure right here. Hope the video doesn't turn out backwards because that bugs me when that happens. And you get six of them. A Wolverine. And a case to hold them in to keep them safe, which is great because I have some cheapy cheapy ones right now and they're just in my silverware drawer and they it's just messy. So this is awesome. I like to have things in a case and it keeps them neat, keeps them clean, keeps them away from everything else. So yeah, this is my I, I saw a picture of them online, but this is my first time seeing them. Up close and personal so these are great these are mine anybody wants any though of course I will be taking orders if you're not local you can order from my website Rachel Wood one number one Rachel Wood one dot epicure dot com and you can have whatever you want shipped directly to your door When the uh, when the stuff is released and we can and we could put our order in, I was so excited I jumped the gun and I submitted my order before everything was on the website. I think that's what this is. <laughs> and then I went back and I thought maybe maybe they were like slowly putting it in. Maybe it wasn't just one shot. Maybe they put stuff in and then put some more. And sure enough, I went and checked. And that's exactly what happened. So I had to make two orders. So that's okay. It worked out. Okay. There's somebody coming in getting the bubble wrap. Alright, so here's another box. A box inside of a box. Again. <laughs> yeah, like a Dr. Zeus book. This I want to try. Um, I might give some to some friends if you ask me nicely too. It's a pink lemonade. Um, I haven't tried it, it is brand new. Last year they had a blue butterfly, which I don't know if I got one, but um, I still have some in the cupboard. 
I do recommend less water than what it says for the blue one. This one, I will try it and see if it's the same. Um, if you put in as much water as it says, it, there's not a lot of taste, I don't find. so. And Joe is playing with it, which he likes to do. If he's not happy with something, he'll tinker around with it until he gets it the way he likes it. So he said if you put less water than what it says, like even half, if it's asking for a cup, put half a cup. He said he liked it more because it was more flavor. It was less watered down. So anyways, this is a brand new one, Pink Lemonade. I'm looking forward to trying it. I'll, uh, I'll do that this time. Um, you can have it hot or cold. It, uh, they're tea bags. And you mix it for, and there's no caffeine. So you can make it for the kids. And it doesn't say how much. Steep for five to seven minutes. Chill for refreshing caffeine free iced tea. 20 wrapped tea bags. You get 20 of them in here. That's odd. Why does it not say how many? How much water? As much as you want, I suppose. We'll figure it out. So yeah, no, I am looking forward to that. I do like, like lemonade. Kids love lemonade. So if I can make it for a little bit cheaper and healthier, I buy mostly organic stuff anyways. Uh, here's another new one that I'm looking, is this the drink mix? It shows it's a drink. Brand new. Dissolve two tablespoons of the mix into one third a cup of hot water. Add to a blender with half a cup of canned crushed pineapple. Mmm. Some of you know what that reaction means. Two cups of ice cubes and two ounces of coconut rum. Oh, <laughs> if desired. You don't have to put that part in. Uh, blend until smooth. Pina colada. <coughs> Barbecues at my house. <laughs> Here was one. It is it's marinade. Oh, we've come out with a bunch of marinades this summer too. So this is all new to me too. I have looked at it very briefly on the website. I did watch the launch video that they had on the uh, Facebook page. I don't retain well. So this is a Cuban Mojo marinade. Um, working from home, I do have the opportunity to take food out and thaw it before we cook. So yeah, this is good because a lot of people, they forget to take it out and then it's frozen and then they defrost it and they don't have time to marinate. So anybody who's working from home or if you remember, if you plan ahead or some people will not eat frozen meat. They will only buy it fresh and then make it for dinner that night. So there, you got, you got some marinades. You got garlic, organic lime juice powder, which is organic rice, maltodextrin, tapioca, orange, organic lime juice concentrate, organic lime oil, lots of lime, oil, oregano, orange peel, cumin, sea salt, and black pepper. There you go. It'll be a lot less sodium in these than what you would find in a marinade packet at the uh, grocery store. Maple, miso, 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 miso. Mm, marinade mix. But there, that's another new one. Bally Glow, dry glaze. About as close to Bally as I ever get. Um. There was no mustard. I don't know if there's any mustard. There might be one mustard this year. I don't know if I ordered any. It must be the mustard. There is a mustard. I don't know if I ordered it, but anyways, off topic. I, I saw the mustard glaze. You can make one. Um, that's what made me think of the stir one tablespoon of dry glaze with half a cup honey mustard. So buy your own mustard. There you go, Bally Glow. It's a dry glaze, not a marinade per se. Salad dressing, new Southwest Ranch dressing mix. That sounds.
sounds good. I don't use a lot of salad dressing. I, I just don't care. I don't need it. But this sounds like it might be pretty good. Southwest Ranch. Might have to try that one. Teppanaki. Teppanyaki. Didn't we have this over the holidays, over Christmas? Sure we did. Yes, we did. Teppanyaki. It is a sauce mix. You make it as a sauce and you drizzle it over your meat, whatever meat you're having, steak, pork, chicken, whatever. Drizzle it over top. I haven't had it yet, but that's what I like about this. I like trying out all the stuff. I've been making new stuff lately that I have never made before. What did I make? Oh my gosh, it's a complete blank. I made a chowder last night. Creamy chowder, is that what it's called? I want to call it seafood chowder because that's what it is. But it's not seafood chowder if you don't actually put seafood in it. But I think they call it creamy chowder. I made that for the first time last night. Joe loved it. Do you want any more? Nope. Are you saving what's left for anybody else? Nope. Can I have it? <laughs> yes, Joe, you can finish it. So we had two big bowls of it. Shish kebab. Seasoning. So, my shish kebabs, and I got seasoning to sprinkle on whatever I'm making. You can whisk it with one tablespoon olive oil and lemon juice. And you rub it on cube chicken, lamb, or pork, or whatever. Or sprinkle it. So you can make a mix and rub it on, or just sprinkle it on as is. I'm gonna get fat this summer. Coconut, oh, <laughs> love seafood. Some of you now are probably turning green and going, Bleh. I don't understand. Especially living in the Maritimes, how do you not like seafood? But coconut curry mussels. Love mussels. Absolutely love mussels. If I go to a restaurant and they have it as an appetizer, I almost always get it. Like when we go to McSweeney's Dinner Theater and they got mussels as an option. Yes, please. So it's three pack that comes in a three pack, of course. Oh my gosh. Not good. Not good at all. So fat this summer. Berry swirl. No bake cheesecake. Comes in a two pack. I don't make the citrus lime one for a reason. Um, I will make this so that we can try it. And uh, if anybody wants any, please order it and take it out of my house as quickly as possible because I have high predictions that my daughter is going to probably ask for it on a regular basis. <laughs> She's a huge cheesecake fan. My son couldn't care less. I don't need it. And uh, Joe doesn't need it. <laughs> so... But yeah, I'm, I'm really looking forward to making that. All you need is uh, frozen raspberries, or fresh, I presume. Combine the mix, one tablespoon of the mix with the frozen raspberries. Microwave uncovered for one minute or until hot. Mash them and stir together. Set aside in the fridge. Use a mixer. Cream cheese and remaining mix in a, until smooth. Scrape the bowl, lick the spatula, <laughs> gradually add in one and a half cups of whipping cream, whipping until soft peaks form. Put on a gra prepared graham pie shell or pie crust. Put the raspberry mixture on, that you created separately on top. And then freeze for at least two hours until set. Oh my gosh. How do I get myself into these things? All right. No more boxes inside of boxes? Okay. One more. I feel like Christmas. How many boxes are inside this box? Dr. Zeus. Fox and socks. Fox.
box and socks on a box. More bubble wrap. Catalogs. I have some. Anybody wants to do a uh, book party? I've got books. I can get you a couple. Again, online parties on Facebook. I will come to your home. Um, if you're, most of your friends are out here, uh, we can do it here. Ask me. I have no problem. You guys come in here and I will mix up something in my kitchen. Um, usually a dessert, uh, entree of some sort, maybe an appetizer. <laughs> maybe we can have a barbecue. I was thinking, actually, I was thinking about that thinking about having a barbecue and make some of this stuff because I'm going to eat it anyway and then you guys can try it make a pina colada so yeah I got some books so if anybody wants to have a book party definitely let me know oh my god well there's at least three boxes inside this box oh more oh my god and they're all taped just like Christmas they're all taped What did I call it? Maple miso miso miso. Right there, another one. I don't know why I have two if it's a new product for summer, but there you have it. Oh, because they had two separate sets. You ordered a set of stuff. It was an all or nothing kind of thing. Another teppanyaki. So I can try one and sell one. <laughs> or keep them both if I really like it that much. Another shish kebab. Another Bally Glow. And another Cuban Mojo. Oh my gosh, there's five boxes in here. Oh, this is meal packs. Oh. Um, friend of mine, nope, this is different. This is, uh, veggie burger mix this is new i've never seen this before uh, you combine the mix with hot water and lemon juice whisk it up add zucchini and cooked quinoa rice whatever let's stand five minutes preheat large frying pan over medium heat scoop batter into pan Making four burgers, really? Oh, it's a veggie burger. That's right. I'm like, where's the? Where does it tell you how much meat and what fish? What is it? It's a veggie burger. Okay, I'm all about that. That's great. There's only so many meals a person can make in a week. I don't know how I'm gonna get through all this before the end of summer. <clears throat> like I want this, I want this, I want this. Uh, a friend of mine asked me for, I haven't had this in a really long time. And somebody asked me at the Riverview Bender event last time. So thank you. Because then I got some for myself. But it's one of my favorites for sure, pulled pork. Now if you make this in the slow cooker, don't use the whole pack. It is quite strong. Um, unless you like it that way, then great, go ahead, use the whole pack. But I usually use a half or three quarters of the pack. And um, so it's usually better to start with less and then next time add a little bit more. So there you go. I got a bunch of pulled pork. Um, three are spoken for, but if anybody else needs any, again, inbox me, let me know, and I'll set it aside for you. Um, what is in here? Three more boxes including that. Oh, right. Somebody asked me for this too and I didn't have any. So I got some marinara. You know, it's funny. There's so much stuff in the book and it changes all the time that people will come up to me uh, to my table and say, do you have this? I don't know. And I have to look through the book and it's stuff that I 
don't remember ever hearing of. It's not that popular for whatever reason. It's not common to me, to my circle. Uh, some people may sell it like hotcakes, but if you want something, ask. If I don't have it, I'll order it, or I'll ask one of another local rep if they have it, and I'll get it for you, if I can. Uh, yeah, that's right. Somebody else wanted this, too. A minced garlic. So I think we're getting into some of the stuff that people were asking for at the vendor event. You guys better come and get it. Marinara, another one. Oh, another marinara. Uh, another minced garlic. Oh, an Asian stir fry. Oh, another one. Veggie burger. Good. I didn't want to hog it all. I do want the opportunity for someone else to try it. I'm like, but I really want to try it. But I want to sell it. If you want it, you can have it. I get two. I'll share. Oh, and I, did someone ask for this? Or did I think that I should just order it just in case? Either way. Oh, I got more pulled pork. I forgot. I ordered a bunch. Good. Good. I'm glad. Um, also, I've used it on chicken. We do have a pulled chicken, but I have used that on chicken in the slow cooker. And then I'll shred it up and I mix it all over uh, nachos. Kids really like that. So that was good too. Uh, caramel sauce. That's what I was saying. I think somebody asked for it, but I got a couple of packages of caramel sauce. I know someone was going through all my meal packets at my table and had said caramel sauce. And uh, it was a salted caramel that we discontinued or went into the vault. But we have this still. So I ordered some of this, so we'll have it on hand. Thai red curry. I don't know if this is new or... I can't remember, but uh, anything with chicken in it, I love. Yep, piece of chicken. I mean, of course, you can put in anything. Pieces of beef, pieces of pork, whatever, but turkey. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to trying that, too. I want to try everything. I've tried so much, and there's still so much that I haven't had. It's wild. Oh, there's still another box. This isn't it. I'm running out of room. Okay. Oh, yeah. Nacho cheese. Did you guys see the, the picture of the dip that I made the other night? I only made a half of the recipe, thinking that Joe wouldn't eat it. And if there was anything left over, it'll just go bad, because I don't eat that during the week. I only eat it on the weekend. <laughs> of course, doesn't he get into it? And I was like, oh. No, there's not enough. Garden veggie. SPG. This is great. Uh, we make French fries either in the air fryer or in the oven, whatever I'm in the mood for. And uh, sprinkle that all over the fries. And uh, everybody likes it. Another SPG. Another veggie garden. So, uh, there you go. Veggie garden dip. They're called dips, but remember, you can put them on anything. Another SPG. People have been asking about it, so I figured maybe I should stock up. And I didn't think I had any of my own. I, I do. <laughs> SPG. And you normally need a little bit. I just sprinkle a little bit on the fries or whatever you want to put it on. It's salt, pepper, garlic. SPG. Salt, pepper, garlic. CCB, not the Canada Child Benefit. <laughs> Cheese, chives, and bacon. Does anybody know about the CCB? Epicure? No. Family allowance. More salt, pepper, garlic. One more box. One more. We're almost there. Thank you for sticking with me. Oh my god. Good thing the dog's not here because that would give her a heart attack. She's jumping. I can't imagine why. This is one of the loudest houses you'll ever come into, but she's never gotten used to it. All right. <laughs> Maybe that's why she's so jumpy. I don't know. 
More CCB. Oh, I did order a bunch because somebody wanted four. One. something that I got in here. CCB. I didn't have much at the uh, at my table so I thought I better have some more this time. More CCB. Lemon Dilly. I only had a couple bottles of that left too. So. Lemon Dilly. Nacho cheese. Did I tell you? Yes, I think I told you. There's a three bean salad recipe on the Epicure website that calls for this. It was so good. So, so good. You mix a little bit of orange juice with, it specifies what kind of beans, but use whatever beans you want, black beans, kidney beans, pinto beans, whatever, and uh, some orange juice and that and a couple other things and really good. High in protein, really good for you. Um, lemon dilly. And last one, finally, last one. Should I drag this out a little bit? If you want to go, you can always hit pause and come back later. More lemon dilly. So, yes, you'll be seeing this on launch day. I'll have everything with me at the vendor events. Um, hopefully, I don't sell out of, well, hopefully, I do sell out of some stuff in Rexton because Rexton comes first. And then when I come to Riverview, if you want something that I don't have it, I'll order it. But again, this time I will be requiring the payment when I order it, just so that I know that you're going to come back and get it. Well, I'll deliver it if you're local, if you're handy, even if you're in Rexton. I, I'm up there at least once a month, if nothing else. Or if they're not coming out here, I'll uh, get it to you either way, so don't worry about it. So yes, thank you for all your time. We've gone over half an hour. My kid's waiting for me. I just got done work. So, uh, yeah, Rexton, May 14th, and Riverview, Lions Hall. I think it's the 21st. I'm pretty sure. It, yes, Samantha's birthday. That's right. She was thrilled. <laughs> so, thanks again. Um, if you need anything, let me know if you have any requests of anything you want to see me make. Let me know. Yeah, well, I know. Yeah, make the cheesecake, Rachel. Make the cheesecake. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Thanks, guys. Have a good night. Uh, yeah, have a good weekend. Whatever day of the week this is going to land on. Thanks for your time. Take care. Make good choices. Bye.